Cooper Show with Sarah Silverman uh, and Isla Fisher. Isla's book is called Marge in Charge. It's the first of a three book series, by the way, which is exciting. Sarah's show is called I Love You, America. You're online now, so after you finish watching this, go to Hulu um, and. It premiered today. I guess you can watch it on TV. There's too. nudity in it. Ooh, I like oh, that. Is it your nudity? No. Behind the bar, uh, it's my parents. Hey, mom and dad. Uh, okay, let's go back to the phones. We have a few more calls. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Oh, hi, Andy. This is Beth from upstate New York. Oh, hey, Beth. Are the leaves starting to change yet? Oh, you know, it's beautiful up here now. Oh, I love it. What's your question? <laughs> well, first of all, I just wanted to say I love you, love your show, my daughters and I. And could you say hi to Chelsea and Aubrey? Hey, Chelsea and Aubrey. Oh, thank you. They'll be thrilled. And I have a question for um, Isla. Okay. Hi. Hi, Isla. Um, my question is, how did your movie night with the Kardashians and Courtney Cox come about? And are you still in contact with any of the Kardashians? <laughs> I'm not, but they were incredibly, uh, yeah, it was a wild night. It was totally surreal. We showed them a clip from Grimsby, the character Nobby, which, who I chose uh, repeatedly during the little game. Um, we showed them the scene where the elephant, um, where my husband is inside an elephant's vagina and there is a Bacardi <laughs> party and an elephant's penis continually thrusts into his face until it erupts. Sorry. <laughs> It's biology, you know how this works. Um, anyway, so it was just kind of one of those moments where we all sat around having a cheese platter, which is normal and sensible, but then we watched some pretty extreme Was uh, it comedy. in Calabasas at one of their homes? No, it was actually at my home, our home. Wow, yes. so you had the Kardashians in your home. Did you do anything uh, special to, friend. did you do anything special to prepare your home for their arrival? <laughs> No, I actually forgot to put my kids to bed. <laughs> no, no, it was just, it was sort of, it sort of happened organically. And, and how many Kardashians were there in the, the, the bunch? There were, there were most of them. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and they were really... They Chloe? Were, Chloe, no. Oh, no. she's my favorite. Oh, well, yeah, is that how too. you pronounce it, Chloe? That's how I pronounce it. I don't <laughs> know if that is how it is pronounced. Okay. But she has a little apostrophe accent there, so I always say she Chloe. She does? I think she does. I think she does. Hmm. Yeah, so I always say she Chloe. She's not French. Yes. Um, interesting, all right. Uh, Kim was there? Kim was there. Kanye? Yes, was there. Wow. Yeah. Um, and, um, uh, uh, and... Courtney, Cor the forgotten one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, she is so lovely, and no, her she's mom... so. They're all really nice. Yeah. That's the thing you want to, yeah. you know. No, they were really, really nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Darla from Hiawatha, Iowa, and my question is for Sarah. Okay. If you were alone in an elevator with Melania Trump. What would you say to her? What would you say to Melania Ooh. Trump if you were alone in an elevator with her? <laughs> Come with me, you're safe. <laughs> somewhere safe. <laughs> take you somewhere safe. I'll take you somewhere safe. <laughs> Uh, hide in my Spanx. <laughs> hide in my Spanx. <laughs> Back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Well, hello, Andy and ladies. Well, hello. This is a little bit of... Um, my question is for Isla. Okay. Since you went to clown school, is there anything you can say to Sarah to convince her not to be afraid of clowns? Sarah, are you very afraid of clowns? Have I said that? I do. Clowns, I mean, just scare me the normal amount that they horrify everyone, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not scary at all. No? No. no. Um, come with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last call of the night. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm calling from Daytona Beach, Florida. Hey, Jessica, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Um, my question is for Sarah. Sarah, since politicians are acting just like Real Housewives, which Real Housewives do you think would make the best and worst president? Very interesting that you say that because I started telling Andy a theory about Real Housewives and politicians 
on his radio show, and then he immediately cut me off, and the show was over, so I didn't get to say it. We were um, hitting a hard commercial break, and we're going to be <laughs> cut off on the air, and that is why we got cut off. <laughs> Can I say my theory, though, since it's come up? Yes. I'll try to keep it really tight, and I won't be answering your question because I know it'll be too long already. Real housewives be, are grown women who behave badly. Why? Why would they do that? All of America's watching. It's because they're not aware of All America watching. They're aware of off-camera producers who are giving them a positive reinforcement for bad behavior. Why would a politician vote against their constituents' best interests? Because they're not surrounded by their constituents all day. They're surrounded by lobbyists and billionaires who are paying them and, and giving them positive reinforcement to, to vote policy that behooves them. Wow, yeah. well put. That's a, it's a good analogy, right? It got yeah. a yeah. Yeah. Andy is not impressed. <laughs> I want to thank Isla Fisher. The book is Marge in Charge. And Sarah Silverman. The show is I Love You, America on Hulu. And my parents. For more, click around below at TV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here. And subscribe to our channel here. See ya.